It's Wednesday, February 15, 2012. I'm Bridget Carey on CNET.com, and it's time to get loaded. We start today with news you probably never expected to hear. MySpace is reporting it has gained 1 million new users in the last 30 days. It's all because of the new MySpace music player. MySpace is boasting it has 42 million free songs to stream, and that's more music than what Spotify and Pandora offer. The MySpace music player has unlimited and on-demand listening, radio modes, it recommends songs and also integrates with Facebook. And it's that tie into Facebook that's what's likely driving the traffic. The MySpace Facebook app has reportedly jumped from 900,000 users in mid-January to 1.6 million users today. Also making waves in the music scene is smartphone and tablet maker HTC. The company is working on its own music streaming service, according to a report from GigaOM. Details are still sketchy on that music service, but HTC has already made music a key component to its product line. Last summer, it acquired a majority stake in Beats Audio. That's the headphone business led by Dr. Dre and music exec Jimmy Levine. New HTC devices now come with Beats Audio features, and expect to hear more next month at the Mobile World Congress Expo in Barcelona. Apple CEO Tim Cook spoke at an investor conference Tuesday, noting that Apple has done more than others to address the issue of improving working conditions at its manufacturing plants. Cook said Apple will report data each month on the conditions of its suppliers in an effort to be more transparent. This comes after growing criticism over the working conditions at the factories in China where Apple products are made. Of course, there are other companies that also use these same manufacturing plants like Dell and Hewlett Packard, but critics are focusing on Apple, saying the company has the muscle to make a difference. Another solar energy company has filed for bankruptcy protection. Energy Conversion Devices, based in Michigan, is the latest solar company to be hit hard by the plunging prices of solar panels. It manufactures flexible silicon solar cells and develops solar projects. But these silicon cells, though, are not as efficient as traditional flat solar panels when it comes to converting sunlight to electricity. Analysts expect more solar companies to go out of business as prices continue to fall. So, ever feel like you're addicted to the internet or maybe you just can't put down the phone to check Facebook? The American Psychiatric Association says internet addiction can be a real disorder and it's considering adding it to the DSM. That's the reference handbook for the mental health profession. Internet addiction could be alongside other disorders like cocaine dependence. Some studies say heavy computer use does have a measurable impact on the brain, but more research is needed. Those are your headlines for today. I'm Bridget Carey for CNET.com and you just been loaded.